why do you think it is so important for you personally um, to you know create something that is obviously a um, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's important to our community, right? You know what I'm saying? And it's important as far as, far as like the things that are going on in the times right now. But why do you feel that you should be the one to go ahead and, um, you know, create this app? Okay, that's a great question. Um, Angel is a personal security service. We have needed to secure our lives for a very long time in this country in particular. Uh, security means you feel safe and you don't feel threatened. And so we have the technology, we have the the knowledge, the ingenuity, we have the team, it's the right time to do this. It's, it's been the right time for far too long. And so uh, I felt um, convicted, like I had to do this. I have two sons and I needed to change the world in which they are going to live and occupy so that I can sleep at night and have peace. And so I had to create something to change their world for them. So this is a father's heart and not just my own kids, but everyone's kids. You know, Rodney King happened back in 1992. We'd have never known about it, had an individual not been filming from his bedroom window. Since then, we've had several incidents that have occurred. And since then, it's always brought to the attention by someone else filming and capturing, and it's always after the fact. What we're seeing is these things happen and take place after the fact. It's time for us to start seeing these things happen when they occur and be able to bring light and attention and then stop these. But I'm sick and tired of these incidents happening and we're seeing it after an individual has lost their life. But the only reason we were able to see it is because it was captured via someone happened to be there and happened to pull out their phone. Um, but their family doesn't get an opportunity to see it until social media sees it. And then you get the situations like Mike Brown Whereas sometimes with the body cam, they never get to see it. Body cam's off, it's malfunctioning. He didn't turn it on, he turned it off. Whatever the case may be, it's time for us to create a platform where we can start streaming these incidents to our family members and our friends right then and there so they can come and render whatever protection or justice they need to make sure that their family member gets home. I mean, think about it. When we think about Trayvon Martin's parents, still to this day, they're grieving. Still to this day, they're grieving. And I just went back to 1992, only because it's in our social, social conscious. We can go all the way back to 1619 when the first ship arrived here in the Virginia, Maryland era. This has been going on since then. So when is enough enough when somebody steps up and comes up with something to help not only us, but everybody who's watching on the other side of this camera? This device is the great equalizer, okay? The fact that cell phones are so ubiquitous, so global, and so present, and they're so powerful and they're networked and connected. Now that we have this device in everyone's hands, we've created technology that goes with this device, that goes with the talk and the knowledge that we have as, as a community and how to stay safe. And then it provides awareness, it provides a map, it provides a location, uh, and it's time. The technology's here, the time has never been more right than it is today. And so um, we were compelled to, to create Angel for this reason. I like what he said, it's time. It's, it's long overdue. So it, it's time. Right, let me ask you another question. This will be the last question. Um, what, it's kind of a two-part question. So what's the, what's the complexity in trying to um, not just create an app, you know what I'm saying? Because there's so many behind the scenes stuff that you have to do. It's not as easy as say, hey, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm making this app. No, it's not just the coding. It's, the, you know, it's a whole bunch of stuff that's involved in that. So what's the complexity in trying to create an app? And what's the complexity in trying to create an app that's supposed to change the way that certain groups and organizations are treated? You know what I'm saying? Yes. Okay, so first, it's not about the technology. It's about the people, okay? We're not creating an app so much as we are creating a movement. We're creating a cause that we can all join to help keep each other safe. The app enables that. The technology supports the cause, it supports the movement. This is about our community, this is about our people, this is about our lives, it's about our security, it's about our safety, it's about our future, it's about our potential, it is about our fulfillment, our well being, it's about our joy. And so that's what we're really creating. We're creating all of those things the opportunity to be fulfilled, the opportunity to be safe, 
the opportunity to meet our life's milestones, learning how to ride your bike, learning how to drive a car, going to prom, graduating from high school, going to college or getting your first job, starting your first career, buying a house, meeting the love of your life, having your own family, obtaining the American dream. That's what we're doing. We're creating a vehicle that makes that dream, makes that attainment, that fulfillment uh, more possible than ever by providing a security system that helps keep us safe and keep others accountable who want to harm us or our loved ones. That's what we're creating. So when we focus on that, when we focus on our community and focus on the people that we're there to serve and to help, it's not about us. It's not about the app. It's not about the technology. It's about our community and the technology enables our community to live, to be free and to be fulfilled. Good.